today's episode of Success with Bob Witt Show, I'm going to do a deep dive analysis of studying your master's program at a school called Urban University at Montgomery. Okay, in this episode of Success with Bob Witt Show, I'm going to do a deep dive analysis of studying for your master's program at a school called Urban University at Montgomery. Okay, now this is a public university that was established in 1967 and this school is about 53 years old. Okay, and it's located in the state of Alabama. Okay, in a city called Montgomery. Okay. Now, when it comes to the cost of studying in this school, you are probably wondering, what is the cost? The cost is $21,000, and this is out-of-state tuition fees, okay? The cost is $21,000, okay? And I've said this before, that don't just look at the out-of-state tuition fees, but also there's other costs that are associated with you studying here in the U.S., cost to do with health insurance, your books, cost of living, your, your accommodation expenses and all that. Okay. Okay. So think about that as you plan on studying here in the US. All right. Now, when it comes to the population of this school, this school has a population of about 7,000 students. Okay. So this is really not a big school by US standards. Okay. Now, you may be out there and wondering, right, what is the chance of you getting accepted at this school? Well, the good news is the acceptance rate for this school is quite high. It's 93%. Okay, so 93% of those students who apply to this school, they get accepted. But on the other hand, the graduation rate is 21%. So it's quite low. So a lot of people who get accepted to this school end up not graduating from this school. Maybe they transfer to other schools because of one reason or another. Okay, but these are statistics that you need to know in order to make an informed decision if you want to study your graduate program here in the US. All right. Now, when it comes to lenders, this school work with Ernest. They also work with College Ave and also they work with a lender called Discover, all right? And these three lenders, they offer international student loans, but these loans, you have to have a cosigner. And this cosigner has to be someone who is a permanent resident of the United States or a U.S. citizen, okay? Now, in my other episodes of Success with Bombwit Show, I've said that normally graduate schools here, they offer something called Graduate Assistantship Awards, Okay, and if you want to study at certain schools, please reach out to them and ask them whether they offer those kind of awards. Okay, and this is where they take care of your part of your out of state tuition fees and also they end up giving you a job within the department that gives you that award. Okay, all right. Me, when I came to the US when I was in school, I used to get that award pretty much every semester that I was studying here. Okay, so ask about it. All right, okay. Now, let's get to the kind of programs that they have at this school. Well, when it comes to business and IT programs, they don't really have a lot of variety, okay? For business, they have Master of Accountancy. They also have Master of Science in Applied Economics, okay? And I've said this before that, you know, uh, when you come to study here in the U.S., if you study a STEM program, you may end up getting up to three years of work authorization okay so ask about those things like whether a program is a stem program or not okay for example a program like master of science in applied economics by, might be a stem program okay so who knows you have to ask these things right ask whether that kind of a program is a stem program okay all right now i've also seen some other programs like for example some concentrations for mba being stem programs Okay, let's say, for example, you study an MBA and do a concentration in data analytics or do a concentration in information systems, that might be a STEM program too. So ask, be asking these questions when you reach out to the schools, all right? Okay. Now, when it comes to IT program that they have at this school, they have Masters in Computer Information Systems and Cybersecurity, all right? They also have Master of Science in Geographic Information Systems, 
okay they have master of science in geographic information system so i said to put that that sounds like an it program okay so those are the only programs that they have at this school and this is for business and it programs all right you're watching success with bob Mwiti show presented to you by appstack america appstack america is a consulting company that helps immigrants find amazing higher education and job opportunities in the tech industry in the united states you can find our programs by going to www.appstechamerica.com appstack america we wake you up to the unlimited potential within you now on to the question of the day you may be out there and wondering what is so good about montgomery city okay now montgomery city is located in central alabama okay it has a population of about 205,000 people and this is the second most populous city in alabama okay now if you are someone who likes those big popular cities then this probably could be the place for you okay now when it comes to the climate of this place it has hot humid summers and mild winters so it's not crazy when it comes to winter so if you are someone who doesn't like a lot of snow then probably this is the place to be okay now when it comes to the attractions within this city they have a lot of parks okay in fact actually montgomery has over 1600 acres of parkland okay and has one of the biggest art scenes in usa so if you are someone who is interested in art and stuff like that then this is the place you want to check out okay and uh, when it comes to large employers within this city they have alpha insurance and also they have regions which is a financial institution okay now when it comes to sports this city doesn't really have any major sports team all right so that's pretty much it about studying at urban university at montgomery goodbye You've been watching Success with Bomweti Show brought to you by Upstake America. Come back next time to hear more steps and missteps that I took on the path to becoming a successful immigrant in USA. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn.